Hey, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about hosting your business website on Canva. Now, a lot of people may not be familiar with the fact that you can host your entire business website all on Canva. You can put the .com, the domain, everything, even take payments. And this is pretty new that you can do it all in one place. And it may be even easier for you to design and manage your website because Canva is such a user-friendly platform. Okay, so my business website, brittanynew.com, was hosted on another platform that I really liked and I actually had no complaints with, but I still decided to move it all over to Canva for a couple reasons. One is I get to have all of my brand assets and design assets in one place. Two is that it's actually a little bit easier to design websites in Canva than that other platform. And three is because I'm already paying for Canva Pro and I was also paying for this website hosting platform. So now I get to eliminate that subscription and just pay for Canva Pro and my annual domain, which is a lot cheaper than having to pay for the two platforms. So those are three good reasons why you should consider moving your website over. So now I'm gonna show you what my website looks like and how I set it up and how you can too. Okay, so this is my new website. It does look a little bit similar to my old website. If anyone's been to that before, I'm using the same hero image picture, um, but I updated all the copy and pretty much everything from the bottom on. So this is what it looks like. I made a previous video on things to include on your homepage or your landing page. So check out that video if you wanna know what I have put in my homepage and what you should put in yours too. If you do wanna steal my website landing page template, which I built in Canva already, it's already done for you. All you'd have to do is customize the pictures and the text and add your logo. You can buy that on my website. I'm gonna put a link in the description to that template. So here I've got my USP, my unique selling proposition, which which says empowering you to use media to work smarter because working harder is out of style. We wanna work smart, not hard, okay? And then there's a call to action button here, work with me. I've got my logos here of brand partnerships I've done in the past and some press features that I've gotten. I have a little bio about me from Southern California, graphic designer turned YouTube creator. I traveled to 26 countries and counting. I'm trying to get to 30 countries by my 30th birthday, which is at the beginning of next year. So I need to go to four more countries this year. Then I've got a list of some services that I do, branding and logo design, online course creation, presentation and ebook design, video content and sponsored videos. If you wanna sponsor a video, then go ahead and hit this button here so we can work together. And then I've got a template shop as well. If you keep scrolling, you will also see the templates further down. And then these are the online courses that I offer. I've got a Canva crash course here. I've got a branding course here and a course on how to create an online course if you wanna create a digital product that teaches people how to do things that you can sell passively, then you can enroll in this one. And then each of these pages is another Canva design that has a similar layout, but it's only about that particular product. So basically I've taken this website and I've duplicated it a couple of times to create each landing page. I'll show you a little bit more how I did that. And then we've got some testimonials here for my design clients and my current freebie. I plan on rotating this freebie out. This one is currently for promoting my Canva course. So this is like a Canva template toolkit that you can download for free. Go ahead and check this out if you want a bunch of templates, 50 templates for Canva for free. And then we've got the template shop here. So right now I've got three templates. I'm gonna add more. And then down here is my final call to action where if you kind of got through the whole website and you're not really sure what action you want to take and you want to talk to me, then you can click here to schedule a private 30 minute consultation call. So that is my homepage and landing page, the logo again, and then my social links down here. So this landing page setup is the same format that I use for my course landing pages. So now I'm gonna show you what those look like. So this one's for the Canva crash course. When you click learn more, it takes you to this. I've changed the color of the header to kind of match the branding for this product, which is this orange color. And we've got another USP here, unlock your full Canva potential, different call to action. So on the other page, we had a few call to actions like work with me, schedule a call. But in this one, it's more like enroll in the course over and over again. So we've got, you know, kind of the problem that we're solving with the course. We've got the solutions to the problem here. 
Uh, we've got who this course is great for. This is great for entrepreneurs, creatives, and aspiring designers. And some testimonials for people that I've helped learn Canva, as well as information about what the course includes. Some frequently asked questions and another opportunity to schedule a call, but this is if you wanna schedule a call to learn more about the Canva crash course in particular. So we'll take you to a different calendar booking than my general calendar. And then finally, a promo video with more information about the course at the bottom. If we go back to my website, then you look at the branding course and you're gonna notice that the landing page is also similar. It's a different USP for branding, different information about the branding course. So having a different landing page for each product obviously gives me the opportunity to give different targeted information about the product that the user is interested in at that moment. So this is why I recommend having a different landing page for each of your like more high value products. I don't have landing pages for my templates because they're just $5, but for my courses, people probably want a little bit more information about what they're buying. So I recommend making a landing page for each of your significant products that based on how much information they require. Okay, and then the last landing page is my course on how to create an online course. So this is for e-course made simple, turn your knowledge into an online course, create passive income online, uh, what you'll need to launch a course, the problem, the testimonials, what it includes, etc. So there you have it. This is my landing page format. And all of this, like I said, was designed on Canva. So you can either register your domain directly through Canva, or I think it is a little bit cheaper if you use a third party platform like Google Domains, which is what I use for my domain. And then you can still connect it, no problem. And all you have to do is keep paying for Canva Pro, which you're probably already paying for if you are a Canva lover like I am. It's worth every single penny, I promise you. And if you don't have a Canva account yet, then click the link in the description to create your free Canva Pro trial today. And then you can see what it's all about and the whole party that you've been missing out on if you've never used Canva before. So in my Canva crash course, I go into more detail about how to create a Canva website, different tips and tricks, and really valuable how to create an e-commerce store out of your Canva website, because this is not a function that is available with Canva and Canva's features and apps. This is a workaround that I created using a third party tool, which creates a seamless user interface to make a product purchasable through your Canva website. So I'm gonna show you what that looks like on my website here. So for example, you're on my Canva crash course landing page and you wanna enroll in the course. When you click here, enroll now, it takes you right to this checkout page. And then all you have to do is enter your credit card information. And it looks like the website is a store, but it actually takes you to another website to do the checkout. And you have to set that up, but it's really simple. I go into it in the course. So enroll in the Canva crash course by clicking the link in the description of this video if you wanna check it out. So I didn't wanna finish this video without giving you guys one little warning about Canva websites. I really like the simplicity of the platform and how they allow you to easily create a website, but one thing that they haven't finished kind of sorting out yet is the mobile versions of the websites. A lot of users access websites from their phones, so it is really, really important that the website looks good on a mobile device as well as a desktop computer. So on Canva, unfortunately, you cannot move around the look and feel of a mobile version of a website yet. You can't have a desktop and a mobile version that you can edit both of them. So for creating the mobile website, you only have two options. One of them is to check a box which says, let us automatically optimize your website for mobile. And what that does is it kind of moves around the elements in a way that the algorithm thinks is gonna look good on a mobile device. But in my experience, this never looks good on a mobile device. It just doesn't work yet. They're working on it. I'm sure they're gonna create something better or create the ability to edit both of them. But as of this video, that doesn't exist yet. And then the other option is that you kind of have the exact same layout just on a phone size, which for my website, it actually does look good and it is designed to be consumed also on a phone. So you can check out my website on your phone, see how it looks. The only problem with mine is that sometimes the text is a little bit too small for the phone. So if you like seeing text appear bigger on the phone and you can't read the small text, you can zoom in as much as you want in order to read it to get that readability. But naturally, this website template does look good on either desktop or mobile, but it's not a different design. It's just the same design shrunk down to a phone. Okay, I hope that makes sense. Uh, let me know in the comments if you have any questions. I'll be happy to answer them. 
and go ahead and use Canva to make your websites. All right, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.